boys and girls break it to bk joined by elevator once again and what a map one again we had right there with booster seat gaming somehow clutching it out in the end after it would just seem like all of a sudden that momentum was taken away and it felt like team name was gonna at least force overtime and who knows what happens then but in the end they do win that final round the excellent flank in the end uh by term specifically and allows them to be victorious so Hell of a map one, and again, we're just getting started for the day. We got map two going to be coming up. It's going to be on Split. The first time we're going to see Split as far as coverage here. So looking forward to that one. And Split was Booster Seat Gaming's map choice. So it's worth remain. reiterating. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, after after that map, I am just excited to see what happens on Split. It, it's kind of one of those maps that very few people Spike like playing. But the people who do like playing, the ones who actually want to pick it. Have some cool stuff to show us. So, I mean, is this a map we see Chamber? Maybe. Is this a map we see uh, more Killjoy heroics from uh, Boltsy? Or perhaps from Nanner? Certainly could be. Get into it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's obviously the players. Uh, yeah! still there. You can take a look at or else we're watching some replays. Yeah, ice, ice box map, that is. And again, just that back and forth that it, that it continued to be, the pendulum shifting. Back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I was looking at the stats too for Booster Seat Gaming, and they did play, uh, looks like once at least, on uh, Split earlier on in this event, and they, of course, won that one. Oh, I got a chance to play once, but won that one. But clearly, yeah, you pick a map like Split, you definitely are pretty confident um, with some strategy on it, because it's one of those maps, it's like, if it ends up to be like the final map, map three, it's like, okay, but. Now, the fact that you chose it is is definitely a different tell. So watch that one enemy remaining. Bolty going off. Vic, I mean, to be fair, Vic got a couple of those. I didn't even realize that initially. But uh, Vic got a couple of those kills with, with a strike. Finishes it off right there. And there's the pop-off, as you'd expect at the end of the excitement. But still work to be done, of course, for Booster Seat Gamers and, well, both of these teams. You're in this single elimination semi-final matchup now, but... Yeah, it's gonna yeah be I do love that we have the uh, the LAN audio bleeding yep. into uh, the cast as well, just because you can hear them get hype for moments like that. It just adds a little bit of that feeling of uh, you know actually being there, feeling those emotions of you know yeah. competing against somebody that you're across the stage from. It's pretty cool. Yeah, especially in today's day and age, again with everything going on, it's uh, the fact that we even get this LAN environment is is really cool with the players being there. And I'm with you there. It's uh, that's when it comes to the production side of things, uh, that ambience having. The, uh, the crowd ambience, the player ambience, as far as their sounds go, is it helps the viewers certainly feel like they're more part of it. So, yeah, definitely hyped about that as well. You know, there's been uh, some positive comments coming through, being able to enjoy that too. So, um, but it looks like the player is sitting back down and, you know, finishing up a couple snacks after the short break right there. Going to get rehydrated, get some of the energy, get some walnuts maybe. Uh, almonds, actually. Almonds is probably one of my, my snack of choices when I'm looking for, you know, just a small energy boost and looking to fill up some calories you know you have a favorite snack yours in those moments tell me you're old without telling me you're old <laughs> ah, come on i personally like prunes and raisins no and maybe I a side of that. oatmeal <laughs> i didn't say that i mean almonds isn't boomer food come on maybe give me like six lines of g fuel let's go <laughs> six lines of g fuel. oh jesus uh, we take a look at the teams right there and the players setting up getting ready and the admins in the background and doing a fantastic job throughout this event as well. But uh, yeah, hyped about this. I know people have been asking about the Fullerton event as well um, going on simultaneously. Again, I'm not a hundred percent sure when it uh, starts today, but that will be starting here in the near future. And uh, they have their plows. In fact, I believe as I say this, I'm looking now, okay, it should be starting any minute now, actually from the looks of it. So you got, we, I believe we're going to have some squad streaming up if we don't yet. On this one so feel free to hit that button once it does appear if you want to get both the streams going on but yeah over there in fullerton in southern california there's a fairly identical land of sorts happening as well mm -hmm. thanks to nerd street gamers and they're playing it out in their playoff stage right now as well yep. for today so a bunch of solid teams over there as well we've got you know like the guard we've got extra Andy black we've got a bunch of similar kind of squads of pro players or teams that are you know Obviously, we're in the middle of a postseason shuffle, so there's a lot of very good players maybe looking for new homes, trying out, you know, playing with other players. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's definitely an exciting part of the Valorant season and having these lands to showcase, you know, potentially some of these pairings that we might see next season uh, is really cool. 
All right, so agent selection upon us, and definitely a couple things to talk about. Uh, both teams running that raise. Um, you do have the side of, I'm trying to think now who's who. It's a bo- backseat game, or not backseat, uh, booster seat Booty gamer. seat gaming. <laughs> Booty seat ga- Whatever you want to say. We'll just call them BSG. They, uh, they're they running the double duelist with the raise as well as jet. This is one of these raise maps, though, that certainly can come into play with all the tight corridors and everything. Uh, but also both teams running sky is what I want to point out funny enough, because we talked about this yesterday. We saw zero sky in any of our mm. matches yesterday. Yeah. Uh, we, I think a lot of that is just, we've started to see kind of the rise of KO, right? KO has taken sky's place on a lot of the maps like ascent and uh, breeze. And so sky's role in the meta is definitely shifted to a more minimal one, but this is a great map for sky just because there's so many, tight corners that you can use the uh, trailblazer to find people in. The seekers are really good at allowing you to rotate quickly. And then, you know, being able to flash through the Asta or Viper smokes is super powerful. Absolutely. All right. Well, both teams running sky. So we'll see how that utility comes into play this time around. It is going to be BSG on attack and they are attacking. Going up mid, Verdi on the jet this map. I was on Reyna on Icebox, of course. Nerfed meanwhile, holding from ropes. And it looks like it is going to be enough of a hold. The nade doing a little bit of harassment, too, and forcing them back. So it seemed to be a very fast start on mid. It ends up being a much more delayed one and calming things down now. Oh. Flash in. That allows Verdi to get up into be heaven. Take control. On rafters, you see Ray's over there. Does some damage, but not enough for the kill. Nerfed. Lining up, but can't get the headshot. And Verdi gets to get the headshot. Oh no! Oh god. Bot on bot action. Vic finds the headshot on his diamond with that frenzy. Sometimes you just gotta left flick with that spray and hope for the best, and that's exactly what happened there. The trade comes out eventually, though. Back and forth pistol around here. Morg finding a shot under Churms. Finds a second one under Boltsy. Birdie, who had all that early aggression, is the last one standing some way, somehow. Ends up finding. The bullets of Nanners in the face. So, one nothing start for team name. They do hold on defense. I mean, it was a little bit slower of a push, but eventually they hit the B site. But good retake by uh, by team name. And really those shots from Morg up there in heaven. Definitely did it for them. Yeah, absolutely. And so we will see team name buying up the five Spectres full armor. This is one of those maps that the SMGs and the shotguns come into play almost every single round, potentially. One peek in that B main on defense at least. Verdi once again working up mid, though. And Boss going to spot, and Diamond peeks off mid with the Spectre spray and kept spraying for good reason as Boltsy will walk into the crosshairs. Two are dead up on the side of B. Vic is pushing in, and Nanners, hey, you just got to keep spraying, and eventually you'll find the head. for sure and great peak by nanners precise shooting that's a specter flawless round coming out for team name yeah, absolutely looking pretty clean there good trading off of each other good utility to set up for those kills see if it carries over here into round number three as bsg picks up the rifles uh jojemo the closest to the ultimate on bsg's side of course showstopper really good for cracking open sights on split yeah, absolutely, and try to get him there maybe in the next couple of rounds at least, but you also look at the buys, but getting no kills that last round, you know, several of them on half armor even, and very little ultimate utility gain as a result of these first couple of rounds for DSG, but at least they do have guns and should be setting up to be in the better position, of course. Let's see, he's going to throw the utility up mid. Birdie once again following, it goes for the peak in heaven, but with a double peak response, Diamond will trade on a Birdie. Yeah, Morg's still in vents as well, and I don't even... I think they probably heard him at this point, but this crossfire in mid is pretty tough to break, especially with that Viper and Astro Utility helping out. Yeah, both teams... Split is an interesting map for me in terms of how teams play it, and especially on defense, right? Where it's, we'll see some defenses literally give up mid and just play both in the B and A site and basically say, you can come mid, we're going to play around you pushing up it, though. 
This is not the yep. case here. Team name certainly wants to lock down mid and challenge it every single time, at least so far. A site. Oh, nerfed. He's hiding. Now there's going to be no he's here, but there's so much block of vision. Uh, oh, no way. He gets the kill. Finally gets taken out by Classic, but well played by Nerf. Left. Remaining. Great team right there. Dick has a good angle though. Not supposed to kill yourself. Can't look behind him. No eyes in the back of the head and Nanners. Gets the flank. 3-0. Team That's name. So yeah, nerfed holding in that corner. And with all the blockage of the vision between the wall and the orb, they were confused. Yeah, they were a little confused. Uh, Judge Jemo, I believe he blast packed himself onto a teammate's snake bite and also naded himself. That's why I was a little bit speechless there. Cause, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that was a full team kill, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, the, it's being pointed out. Uh, I don't know if production can hear me here, but it is one nothing BSG. So the score at the top, it should be reversed to clarify. BSG did win the first map uh, with that uh, crazy finish right there. So that'll get changed in the near future. Anyways, playing up in heaven, Redux will trade. Killing Verdi. As Verdi. He did get Diamond though, so yeah. no Astro utility for team name now. Very true. PSG finding themselves with Sheriffs this round. Starting to pick up into be having a little more, realizing it's not being controlled by team name, but Nerf just controlling ropes and kills Terms. Great shooting from Nanners. Continuing that hot finish in the previous map. Lining up these shots, and Redux will somehow find the head of Josh Jemo, and Nanners gets Vic to finish it. So, clean shooting continues. Team name going to be up 4 0. Back to Bison. Nanners 6 0 and 0 to start here. I mean, Split is definitely one of those maps where Killjoy can absolutely lock down a site. We're starting to see it already here. A couple of ultimates coming online at uh, Cosmic Divide, as well as the Viper's Pit available for team name. Things are going to get a little bit more difficult for BSG. <clears throat> Master Wall Viper's Pit, pretty good combo in terms of keeping people out of your base. And this is one of the reasons why this is a great placement of the Viper's Pit. It just takes over this whole A main area. And it's it's a very risky play to obviously push into that. But Split, you're already so condensed from where you can go. So it makes it very difficult. But Vic, he's ready. He holds against the push and gets both Morg and Diamond, and now the B side is for the taking. And they've cracked open Heaven as well. This is going to be a very tough retake for Team Aim. They might even just save here. Ended so quickly there in Garage with two kills for Vic. I don't know about a save necessarily. I think the economy of Team Name is pretty healthy, so they might try to, if anything, do some damage themselves, of course. This is uh, fairly unwinnable. Yeah, they're pinching in from both sides, trying to catch players escaping the blast from the spike. Might find a couple kills here, potentially. Redux, timing. Uh, bad timing, bad timing, bad timing! Third meanwhile, gonna deal with Bolsey, gets one, can't get the second. And Verdi dashes away to make sure not to die to the spike. So, only got the one kill. In the end, BSG's got to feel good about round five and finally getting on the board and keeping four of the five players alive. But we see some buys coming out, including Morg on Sky is going to pick up an operator. All right. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, Redux has been the main opera for this team playing the Jet. This is the first time we've seen him move over to the Rays. So interesting to see Morg on Sky picking that up. But he has been playing middle, and that's a pretty good spot to post up. Mm hmm. <clears throat> As small tech. Okay, I was like, wait a second. Here. <laughs> are, are we frozen? Yeah, so I don't know if that's a pause or did our observer freeze, unfortunately. Because no one's moving at all. Okay, now we're moving. Never mind. Okay. So it looks like it is some sort of tech pause coming out. Get that sorted out and then resume things on. But um, yeah, I mean, team name up four to one. Obviously, the buy situation, though. Yeah, we talked about how Sky with the operator. Where is Sky going to peak? It looks like uh, Sky. Now, without the mini map, it's hard to tell actually, but we'll see where that. Uh, maybe more towards the A side could go for, for uh, perhaps for like an aggressive A peak with the operator, as they haven't really done that yet. So, yeah, he was set up middle, um, but they have been putting quite a bit of 
Astra and Viper utility there, so A is also a pretty good option. Mm -hmm. But until we have the minimap back, it's a little bit hard to do analysis. We can just see players jumping around. Yeah, I believe that that is on purpose. Uh, there is a delay on stream, obviously mm -hmm. with a pause like this. If I want to, if it does end up catching up, don't want to give away that information as best you can, uh, as the observer. So, take a look at the players. That would be the side of team name, I believe, over there on yep. the right hand side. And BSG on the left. Get that sorted out and get things going on once again. Here we are in map two, so welcome to our coverage. This is the Frag Valorant Major uh, in Philadelphia. You're at the block, brought to you by Nerd Street Gamers. I'm Freaky CBK, joined by Elevated. We're on playoff faction here on day number two. This is our first of two semifinals, and then guess what? We got the finals uh, to finish it all off. All of these series being best out of three. So our next one is going to be Sonics uh, going up against. Like on the way. On the way. There you go. Is that series. And again, on the way, Stellar, Brock, Bang, J. Cruel, Xander. So I know it's one of these cases like a team name you might not recognize, but those players, if you follow NA Valorant at all, certainly plenty of names on there that you should recognize. So, All right. Uh, wow. We are jumping right into this one now. Yeah, so all, everything coming up from the start there. It's going to be an A hit for BSG fast. And that Astral Wall allowing them to do so. Yeah, so much for that operator impact. Morg could even get caught here. Great timing from Vic. The dog is out. Morg is. Nice. Nice. Oh, come on. <laughs> Smart play with the gun. Oh, they're the in it nade. to win it. Pushing screen. Redux gets the nade kill on Verdi. But yeah, Vic, he has awesome positioning here. Zittery. Oh, but now what he does it. Up. Yeah, Redux just a little too quick. And the lockdown gonna be used. Does not detain, but it pushes them off of it. Going up heavy. Look at Redux is winning! Oh, oh, from Redux, waiting for the second player. Kills them both. And the defuse is gonna happen. Excellent coordination, but Redux certainly MVP that round. Yeah, sick movement from Redux there. Finding that timing. I mean, what it. What did he even jump up? Was that like a, a crouch jump in the corner? I, I I feel like that box is usually a death trap, but finding the timing there and then also finding the timing with the Astro Wall. Sick play by the kid. It would be right again. It's, as we've been informed, apparently he's only 14 years old. And uh, making plays like that, talk about a bright future. That he certainly has in the Valorant early. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the montage during the break between maps, but there was a little no. clip based off of uh, your daughter being on the stream yesterday. Oh, was, was there? With a couple of vandals. <laughs> 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 I gotta ask to see that action. That's oh, unfortunate. Anyway, Birdie takes out Redux. Though. So speaking of maybe a little cash just curse there, praising him too much. Good opening from Birdie. And John Jammo finds a showstopper on Nanners. What a round here for BSD. Talk about a response after getting that last round taken away. Almost potentially a flawless one. And more, will he check the corner? He does, but Jojemo's too fast. Flawless is the name of the game there for BSG, and that's got to feel good coming back after losing one that they probably thought they had wrapped up. Yeah. Five to two, team name still leading in a pretty good one, but yeah, that's got to feel very clean and very good, really, for BSG. As they take that one, Verdi leading the way and had a great entry frag that last round, seven, five, and one. On the other side, Nanners talked about continuing his momentum. He is 7-2-0 and oh currently in this one. Only dying the two times, the least amount of deaths so far uh, in the game. But set up pretty heavy towards the B side. Coming out for a team name, but look at where BSG is going once again. Just trying to take over that mid, following the dog. There's a couple of judges here. Great contact from Redux on the dog there, so they don't know Morg is up here. the judge very good on split in situations like this a showstopper but redux that was a bit ambitious really kind of just hope they walked into it but some kind of information was told meanwhile they are pushing up the more with the judge jumped down a little awkward and got one birdie quick trade though and now they're taking over b is bsg nanners 10 life they push you out, but Nanners gets flicked on. Redux got one, but two fall for team name. And the site is claimed. However, not so much. Nerf just here. Oh, he did some damage as well on the other player. In the back right. Oh, oh Nerf just going my off. God. That's not his own Viper's Pit, by the way. That's Cherms' Viper Pit. 
Yeah, maybe he just forgot. <laughs> it's like, this is my domain. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now, Trims has to be very careful. Left. Obviously, 21 HP is not enough against the judge. He's going to drop his own pit so he has a better angle. Oh. Clear vision with the He has the to be back weapon. left, right? Yeah, I'm sure he's back left. No Ooh, he's dead. He, there's no way he listed this right. Oh, oh my god, he does! Terms with 21 life wins the duel. Did he, so he dropped the judge. Yeah, he switched to he switched to a phantom. Should have kept the judge, man, to spray it away. But I don't think he knew that he hit yeah. nerf because he wasn't on the screen when he spammed through that viper's pit. So, you know, going for the play where he thinks he can win the headshot duel. That's fair. Well played, though. By Cherms, it got really scary for them. What seemed like setting, setting themselves up with the Viper Spit, I believe at that time it was three versus two, but nerfed had other plans with that judge. In the end, though, BSG is victorious. So 3 5 as we enter right now. Wow, talk about a quick kill. That was B main. Vic took out nerfed. So already one down. Here's with the sheriff. Just missing the timing there, Cherms. They suspect something, though. All right, well, makes it a trade at least. Yeah, Nanner's good sheriff shot. Still player advantage, Diamond. He's got a good angle. Oh, not so much anymore. Gonna walk through this, Vic. Vic was looking up. Diamond was down. Well played. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. Sit down. Who, how do you do that? He's backing up. Oh, my God. He's broken. <laughs> Absolutely. Seeker's coming out, by the way, defensively. And with that spike planted, Cherms, they know where Cherms is. They're going to play off of each standing. other, but Cherms sprays. That's the trade, though. So favoring team name, Josh Ammo in the elbow area. We're going to gather. Oh, he spams to the wall, gets one. And we now have a one versus one, make it one versus nobody. Because Josh Ammo will get the kill on Morg and secure the round. They're clawing their way out of a round that almost slipped away, BSG. You know that team name is probably kicking themselves a little bit. Fortunately, they just couldn't really get in position to trade off of each other. Morg, a little bit too late for the party there. And Jojemo out aims. Gives BSG four rounds on attack, which is already pretty good in a half on split. Let's mm -hmm. choke them. Yeah, and go back to it. This is our map choice. And so uh, definitely having some confident attacking strategies. As they are once again gonna just run up mid and who cares about Viper's Pit? With a dog, it's done nerfed and they take over mid now. No Viper to deal with. Jojemo is also gonna get, well, he's gonna get timing himself because Mork sneaks up and Redux yeah, takes go. out Vic and B-Main. Being pinched in from oh, sight yeah. though. With two players in the garage. Oh, Diamond finds two. Spam transfer. Wow, team name. It does not feel like they should be winning this round right now. Some way they, <laughs> somehow they are. Seems like they're just constantly getting caught out of position but shooting their way out of these terrible situations. And so now Bolsi is alone. And three has the spike, but push through an Astra Star. Yeah. Does have a flash. They're not gonna matter. Danner's in heaven. Takes out Sky, and we're gonna see now six to four stat line. So score line even. But yeah, that, I mean, again, that started with nerfed getting taken out with the Viper's Pit mid right away, and uh, they collapse on the B side. But yeah, good job between Astra and Ray's holding down B main, knowing they were getting flanked, and Diamond specifically managed to get that double spray and uh, help lose into the victory there. So ultimate status, there's a lockdown as well as Astra Wall for a team name. Uh, you do have Astro Wall and Knives coming out for BSG, but economy-wise, not look at the greatest couple Spectres. They will have Knives, though, as mentioned on Birdie. She'll use them. And goes fast up to ramp the Flash. It's not going to matter. Morg was definitely flashed, but you don't care. Yeah, I think that's actually just kind of the, the bug that where they, if they get, like, micro flash, it sure. shows on the other team that they're fully flashed. Definitely rage-inducing when that yep. happens. You're like, how did he kill me? <laughs> I wasn't actually blind. <laughs> yeah. So lucky, nice wall up or nice smoke off here from Astra. Allows him to sneak up into ropes. Although, it looks like on the map, Sky is waiting at the bottom of the ropes if they go down there. Yeah, Dojemo does have the spike, so if he dies to Morg here, it'd be very bad around. But the timing. 
Somebody's gonna get timing here. <laughs> it's a matter of which. For sure. Cost an aid. Yeah, right. <laughs> That might not be a bad play if you really are, it feels like they know something might be down there, so. Okay, this guy's moving up, and now here goes Tachemo, go figure. The info, the flank, and yep, there's the timing. Tachemo, good coordination. Right in the guy flash detected he was there. Oh, he's lost. Oh, where? He's stuck in the wall, <laughs> the astral wall. happening? You mentioned face one with this spike. There is a defender. Killjoy locked down though. Bolt is charging it. He's got to push this. Gets taken out though. I'm gonna push them off. The showstopper and elbow if they started to push him. But Jojemo in the back of the side. Vic me wall coming through ropes. Takes a diamond. Redux got Jojemo in that side. Now they're looking at the trip in the bad spot. But he gets the one kill. He gets two. We're talking. It's a third, but one versus one. It's up to Vic. Trying to do a jump peek here. Knows he's off. Yeah, this is. uh. Vic should be able to win this one. Just needs to kind of waste some time here. Oh. Redux knows. Oh, he's going to pop. No way. <laughs> that was very ambitious from the young one. <laughs> yep. It's, as you said, I mean, he wasn't winning that round at that point. So I try something crazy, I suppose. Maybe the play was the you know, fake the defuse and then shoot the rocket up there right after. But the, mm -hmm. the time to get the rocket launcher back out, obviously, after that is it takes too long. So. Up. 30 seconds left. Yeah, that, uh, we saw that that standoff there between Jojemo and Morg that whole time. And then as soon as the execution started, Morg bit on the astral wall. And that allowed Jojemo to then flank and get the great positioning. That's an offensive seeker. They're going to hit B hard with it. They got the one in the back of the site they know about. Jojemo getting a lot of life drained from him, but... And it just stay alive in the back of the site. Nerf is there and actually finds one with the Sheriff. Staying alive still. Diamond back to response as well. Bolt goes down. So Jemma though takes out two clean shots, gets three. And suddenly it's just Nanners, but it's Nanners. We know what he can do. Sheriff in hand. Seen this one before. Yep. Both players are low for BSG. I'm just amazed that Jojemo survived. He was down to one HP like three different times there because of the decay <laughs> in the middle of a huge firefight. Yanners can pick up a rifle here as well. They're both right side, but he doesn't know that for sure. They play off of each other. He figured BSG should be in a good spot. And Jojemo's like, don't worry, I got this. Four kills for him in that round. And they finish the half six to six, does BSG. Six rounds on attack and on split, you're always going to feel pretty good about that. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I mean, huge heroic performance there from Jojemo in that round. Doing a lot of heavy lifting. And it should set uh, BSG up for a pretty solid defensive half here. Like you said, six rounds is pretty good. I mean, I will say though that Split, you know, it has this reputation of being like incredibly defensive sided, but if we look back at, at the Champions event, the Valorant Champions event, it was essentially a 50-50 map. So, hmm. who knows? Maybe maybe the the winds of change are blowing. <laughs> uh, I guess they're just following the script then cuz sure enough it is 6 to 6 here as that's a it's a one way smoke going to be applied by Viper. Speaking of Viper nerfed on the other side. Did not expect a jet to push up with the sheriff. Yeah, so aggressive. I don't even know if Verdi really had much support there. He just kind of walked down middle by himself. Concealment. Terms in the back of the site has that orb, but they're pushing it pretty aggressively. Gets one ghost kill, has backup from heaven thanks to Verdi. And they take out two. They have the spike drops as well. In terms, what a shot! Clean shot. Redux is like, guys? Guys? <laughs> what happened? Oh, apparently that was Terms' round. He's, uh, he was definitely feeling it. I think three. And now seven to six favoring BSG. So, winning that pistol round. Buying the Spectres. And obviously we'll see how the rounds develop here, specifically for team name and what they like to do in terms of controlling the map. Uh, we saw a lot of mid-control coming out for BSG last half on their attacking side. Specifically with uh, uh, with Jet there, with Verdi taking control of it, so. 
going to be a B play, a slow B play, as the guy is all the way up here. More, uh oh, spotted by the wolf, though. Okay, not going to get pushed, though. Turns. Turns getting oh. <laughs> pinched from both sides, but we're to be surviving. Morgan finds a kill with that shorty. I don't know how he lived beyond the initial One jump there, but... Oh, there's an A kill. So, real! We hit the head. That was actually close for Red Tux. Down to 20 life, but clutched in the end to BSG. Yeah, almost, almost hit the transfer there on the flying Judge Emo, but it'll be another round for BSG. Quite a bit of economic damage done, though, so you can see the, the buy for BSG. Not super great. They do have the Operator picked up for Birdie. One other rifle. But this is definitely team name's opportunity to start swinging the momentum back. Pretty critical round for them here as we are getting close to double digits. They lose this. Raider, where is Birdie? Birdie's at B. Terms. He's going to fall back. Still in the pressure. Has the Phantom mentioned. He needs one kill for a Viper Spit if he would like to use it. As Nanner is going to. Check up B, but yeah, if Nanner's peaks here, that's gonna be troublesome. It's already holding that with the operator. Satchel out. The ducks will satchel across B Heaven. And it is gonna be a free take of mid in the end for team name. Just a matter where they go from here. Oh boy. Spotted there is that peak, but no! Birdie doesn't land the shot where Ducks kills Boltsy in the rope, so this is actually looking like a good start now for team name. And we also saw the, the missed shot by Verdi with the Operator. Dojemo will find Redux, though, as he pushes up into Heaven. And there's got Vic elsewhere. That was towards mid, it looks like, in the B-Heaven area. More catches Dojemo eventually. And now a site is for the taking, favoring team name. Viper, though, good timing. Terms comes in, but he can't land the transfer on a Morg. And now it's up to Verdi with an Operator. One versus three retake into a site. That's tough, but it starts with that, and he picks up the Phantom. You me? Certainly doable here. Both players at full health, though, and have a pretty solid crossfire. Oh, at the flowers there. Gets an elbow. That's big. Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Nerf has 21 life. Yeah, the, the time was actually really big for Jet right there. The, the peak didn't happen from... Viper in time, but still. Yeah, it almost, feels, it. almost feels like uh, the player on planter should be peeking that first. It's the, the elbow play. Yeah, almost lost in that round. Well, they win it, but damn close. Verdi doing his best effort, and a hell of an effort it was. Yeah, it's coming up to shine. You can see right there. Yeah, it's, you see the damage almost. If he hits ahead, that's, that is a kill. Sprayed the body, unfortunately, for Verdi. As B main action. It's going to be a safe round, by the way, for BSG. We see some pistols in hand. Gainers slowly peeking up. Saw turns on the left. Does he look right, though? I don't think he expects Bolty to be here. You see the bait trying to come in from turns. It works. <laughs> okay, well, they make it a one for one. Morg is just shotgun gaming. <laughs> He's had a shotgun like 80% of the rounds this half. Hey, if you're going into ropes, that's probably the best gun to have, honestly. True. Just gonna see the plant going off on the A site now. As Cherms and Verdi working together to push this out. And that starts there, but good peek off of that from Redux. Gonna satchel even. <laughs> the satchel will be the kill. Got him. <laughs> Cherms. Toby. Gun here. Uh, fade away three there to close out the round. Redex is balling. We got eight to eight. So that's the continuation of a very close game in series as expected. Love to see it in our first series of the day. Nice ultimate status. You have Viper's Pit and Knives ready for BSG. You have Seekers to go for the side of team name. And where is Sky? Sky is going towards mid currently. So they're not going to use early Seekers at least yet. Birdie pushing very aggressively with his operator in A, but nobody coming that direction. It was not used right away, so. There it is, Trim. Oh! Yeah, that could have been big if they killed Trim, so. 
deactivated it. Found one. Out come the Seekers. Found one. So they know ropes is clear, but obviously they are aware that someone is in a heaven. Uh, Some Morgan's sky versus trouble. sky. He is surrounded right now, so shoot his way out of this. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. 30. The timing. I see the bullet. Or see the gun even. Good patience. <laughs> oh, never. Oh, no. Too much patience. Oh, uh, no classic. way. No way. That didn't just happen, did it? Throw the op <laughs> off the map. Three guns is all you need. <laughs> Well, why, do you, why do you even have an operator at that point? Morg will finally slow things down as he takes a bolt, but Verdi's still in the site alive with an operator. Holding heaven. You're going to be in there by John Damn, all the time in the flank. The patient. Oh, only gets two, though. But I mean, hey, got two. It's up to Morg. One versus three. Verdi with the peak. The shot from Morg. Both teams. What a free fire. Yeah. I got the spike. There's some crazy shooting here. Morgan just left. No. Has utility. Yeah. Utility comes out at just the wrong time. BSG will take that round, but got a little spicy there towards the end. I mean, that double kill with the classic is just nasty. I don't know whether to be disappointed, hyped, disgusted. <laughs> it was. Uh, we could say it was dirty from Verdi. Right, I'll give you that. Yeah, I think that's a good one. It's gonna be the replay, of course it is. Dash away, then the double headshot with the right click. Transfer over to nerf. Yeah, I don't know how he even lives through all that, but <laughs> let alone gets both those kills, but yeah. Good round, 9-8. We got an early showstopper, and that's not gonna result in a kill, so they try to go for the Astro Cheese combo. Doesn't work out. Dog goes up B Heaven, clears it out for the time being. Here. Morgan's just going fast. He's been rushing at middle almost every single round. Gets caught this time by the operator. Rudy will push forward, try and repeat, but that is a full smoke. So <laughs> no way he pushes this. You should run. I know this guy's aggressive, but you yeah. want to fight it. Uh oh. It's gonna be a lockdown towards B for the side of team name. Oh, good job mauling off the back left. Running through. Okay, gets out. That's the nade kill happens on a turn. They did detain pretty, but... Oh, this is big. Redux. Yep. <laughs> At the bottom of the Astral Wall. No way to know that's coming with the Astral Wall there. Can't hear the showstopper. Vic gets both, though. Still very winnable for BSG. They lose another, but Vic has three. It's up to Diamond. Takes the flash. Going to hide behind Pillar. Times this. Looking heaven. They're both on the ground, though. Here's the jumping around spots. The distraction. Vic, the jiggle peaks. The spray to the box, and Vic will get the four kill to secure the round for BSG. 10 8. Yes, she leaves. That feels like a round that you name probably should have won, but Vic. Shows up and takes four. Yes, she is going to have what should be a pretty easy 11th round under the belt after this one, considering the buy that Team Name has. Resheriffs a couple of frenzies. That's not a good feeling for Team Name, but you do what you got to do. For Ducks, going very fast into a rain of bullets there as Nanners finds the headshot on Vic, though. So, Gemmo. Patience. Oh, I thought he was going to be a little more patient there, but he ends up getting two anyways. Now it's nerfed with 45 life. Two more damage. No way he's going to be able to plant this, so... Yeah. He's surrounded by utility and players. Will go down. Boltsy cleans it up. Pretty clean. A little couple, couple kills, you know. The thing is, though, anytime you're going against the Nanner Sheriff, pretty much just sacrifice a player or two. That's <laughs> fairly... Does. I feel like at least half, if not more, of his kills are actually with the Sheriff. That's honestly... Like, that's a fact. Like, <laughs> it seems like that's been the case only between Icebox and this map. Let's see, uh, the demo right here. Transfer over to Astra. Even did a little bit of damage on Viper, despite not getting that one. But all right, what do they have to work with? It's going to be a Viper's Pit for nerfed, and that is it. They will have Morg Seekers in one killer, one ultimate orb. Three. He get off of the sentry, and Nanners was just a little too late. Right there. That's one of those spots where 
Well, was like, no way he pushes this, right? <laughs> That's just an insane play to make, but, you know, aggression and jet go together like peanut butter and jelly. And remember, it was Verdi as well. It's like, oh, yeah, he's he's been doing crazy stuff like that this whole game. So let's take over middle for team name once again. But, yeah, it goes back to the previous half as we were discussing there. It's like some of these teams on defense, they, they just give up mid, and it Somewhat has kind of been happening for BSG. They they're not they're not playing it too aggressive necessarily. There. At least most of the rounds, they're not afraid to give it up. But team name still unable to make the best of it this round at least. As Verdi is holding B main still. They should know if there's an opera over here, but they just oh, walked directly down. into it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Knives out. Backs off and yeah, now it's this is the worst feeling in split especially. It's like yeah, where do we go from here? But it is a three versus three, so and they have they, a site too. They do. But the timing here, Ooh, it's gonna be close. They gotta get to the pit. They gotta get to the pit. Oh. Yeah, the vipers pit and screens. That's big, but Ferdy gets one and making a third kill total with the knives out. Last player standing. Ten seconds remaining. Nerf got Ferdy. It's up to Boltsy. As a flash. Spike planted. Oh, tries to creep up on the planter. Not going to work. And Morg with the kill. Team name takes that round from BSG. 9-11. As we're going to enter round 21. That was a big one. And that's the power of Viper on this map. Being able to just kind of lurk your way up onto A site behind that wall. While everything else is happening on the other side of the map. That's a nice pit and screens. Team name claws their way back one step closer. <clears throat> that was BSG's view right there. It's uh, we've been seeing that quite a bit, even after a loss. Still, you know, doing the fist bumps, and it's all right. It's all good. We're still in the lead. If you're BSG in this case, 11-9. Yeah. Nice round for team name, Birdie. <laughs> I mean, he t he almost died, but hey, he gets another kill early and gets back. Oh, but Redux gets John Jemo somehow. That's one that Jemo should have had. It feels like. Well, land shakes, perhaps. I kind of feel like team names should just start pre-firing the barriers because Verdi is like in their spawn at the beginning of every single round. Right. The jump peaks from Cherms. Nanners trying to land that nasty shot there, but not going to happen. And Verdi is going to take Jaw Jamo's spot. Cuts them off guard a little bit here, especially with Bolty creating distraction. But Verdi's just going to peek out, find a kill. Why not? It's worth pointing out, Verdi did get healed by Sky as well. Was at 10 life and was back up to 100 there. Nerfed. This is a good chance. Once again, finding a good lurk up into A. However, thirty seconds left. Astra is here. Vic has the information. Yeah, here's down there. A couple of teammates rotating around spawn, but look at where Viper is back there holding screens. Gonna get flashed out, but they knew where Vic was precisely. Good peek from Nanners. And screens is controlled as well, but Verdi doesn't spike. care. He's in heaven. He drops the spike with that third kill right there and nerfed by himself all of a sudden. Takes Verdi out, but both will finish the job. Both see that is. And I go back to him. And Verdi, the fact he's even able to make those plays is because he got healed up from Sky earlier in that round. Yeah, and I mean, he is just taking every single duel with so much confidence. Somebody needs to, you know, cool him off. Otherwise, he's just going to continue to take over this game. Hey, no fucking peek me! Oh, gosh, keeps just I see him talking to there. <laughs> like, don't Can't come to my me. site. Don't come to the other site because I'll find you. Can't stop me. All right, 12-9 for BSG. Trying to finish this map and what would be the series if they can do so. Team name. We saw a bit of that comeback fight though on Icebox. They have to do it again here. Verdi, guess what? He's aggressively pushing up B main though. I'll go through. There's the push, but runs into the bullet of Nanners. Get <laughs> Nanners just doing what he does best. A headshot with the sheriff. Fight fire with fire. Nanner Sheriff against the Verdi aggressive push. Nanners wins this one. But unable to claim a whole lot of map control off of that as team name. They're going to rotate back over towards A where the spike is sitting. Look for maybe nerfed to 
heal up and actually they're gonna run all the way back to B. Yep. Mind games. There's a lot of noise being made. Oh, that's big. Yeah, it's a nice flash. That's info. Again, doesn't give you the number of people, but makes it very obvious that somebody's there. They keep delaying this out, and here we go. They're going to lock down the Seeker, so this is great utility use. Definitely setting up to win this round. Player advantage on top of that. There is Astral Wall and Showstopper defensively, though, but Terms gets taken out early. Bolty, being patient. Has to be a little more patient, because that snake bite will do so. Pulls him back. Oh, Nerf made some noise. He's trying to pick up a rifle here. <laughs> Unfortunate misses the timing there as the Astral Star dissipates. Yep, pulled out the knife. Killjoy's flanking this whole time. You can see Raze is checking it. Yeah, Nanners is flanking. There's the wall. And the showstopper jumping in the back. Oh, no! yes, it did get the kill. It almost looked like it was off for a second, but it does find it. But Nanners with the flank, looking for the clutch once again. Morg in the back right there. We're not expecting the Nanners with the free kill. Kills Boltsy and team name once again remaining alive as they make it 10 12. Never a dull moment, Breaky. These no. uh, series are never over until the final round is won, and Nanners continues to show up in these big moments for Team Name. Back against the wall, he's gonna hit that clutch sheriff shot, and that flank was huge as well, winning them the round. It's just, it is something how it just keeps happening. But you look at the safe situation now for BSG, I mean, they got nothing when it comes to their arsenal. I guess all Marshall, and that was pretty much it. You hear it over here. As Vic is waiting for Terms to maybe die and then pick it up. But double. Oh, we got a headshot on the other. <laughs> he almost transferred that. That was almost super sick. I got him to 10 life. Gun here. It is a rifle. It was claimed, so you can yep. see more things that he's like, they got the Phantom, be careful. Toxins going up. And so that kind of makes oh, you wonder. Oh. The Phantom Shorty. Shorty. Enemy kill. Wow. God, that's shorty damage. All right. BSG. Four versus three, favoring them. They have that rifle. Cherms gave it to his teammate because he only has 10 luck to line up. Oh, he hit ahead, but it wasn't a kill. Bolty, though, trying to take advantage in the back of the site. He gets the one, but quickly traded by Redux. It's a two versus two. Spikes being planted. But Judge Jenga, he's what thinking about going out. Yeah. Almost got the kill. So much damage. Here comes Reduction. the knives, too. Verdi over the top, perhaps. He might not look left. Yeah, I was going to say, he probably doesn't. Oh, but Verdi got no! Oh, no. <laughs> Moore couldn't hit the shots, and that'll do it. BSG Booster C Gaming will take map two and thus the series. To, to nothing. Congratulations to them. Team name, great effort. Obviously, they made it very entertaining. Nothing to be disappointed of, but BSG, the better team today. So they go to the finals. They'll be playing later on. Team name eliminated. Yeah, it's a tough way to lose that one. Onto the eco round. You're feeling good after winning that very close round previously, but, you know, sometimes those. Corners ain't gonna check himself. Verdi with the shoddy, and then the movement from Ray's just a little bit too much for Morg there. Mm -hmm. So BSG well played. They will move on, and uh, we get to go see who their opponent is here in just a little bit. That is correct. Their opponent's gonna either be Sonics or on the way. That's setting up to be our next semifinal match, of course, and being a land event. Obviously, they gotta you know swap a lot of things out, some equipment and stuff, and so we're gonna get a little bit of a break yourself. here. But uh, we'll definitely keep you updated and get back to getting some coverage going as uh, possible for that. But we're taking a look back here at the map and split and obviously how some uh, entertaining shots have been throughout. Uh, some great plays uh, by both teams obviously throughout as well. And uh, just, just a close series. I mean, even though it was 2-0, it's one of those on the scoreboard at the end. It's like, oh, 2-0, you know, whatever. But if you really, if you watch them as we did and you look a little bit deeper, uh, th this was definitely... Not a decisive 2 nothing. I mean, this certainly even could have gone the other way if a couple of shots hit here and there. So, yeah! it's one of those, you know, you feel a little bit better for team name, but again, Booster Seat Gaming, they've been hot this whole event, and they keep the momentum. They have yet to drop a series as they go into the finals.
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I kind of would have liked to see a third map just for how close these other two were, but you can't take anything away from how BSG played. The confidence that they were taking this fight with was uh, definitely deserving of a win. Yeah, you see right here, Judge Ammo getting two and three kills, doing some damage to the third. No fucking to set up for that round, a little bit of pop off, the trash talk, and again, I know the audio is coming through as well for the people on the stream, and this is the final round. Uh, just a bit unfortunate for Mork right here. The, the raids, raids with the satchel, so it, it's, it, it seems like it should be so easy to hit, but at the same time, it can be so tough. Yeah, he just, he just trails him the whole time. You and you know, lined it back twice. Observer, come <laughs> on, man, don't do it like that. That's rubbing it in a little bit. But the point I was going to make right there is like we've all been there many of times. I mean, it is tough to hit those moving jet and race specifically yeah. when they're flying around like that. So, but in the end, yeah, BSG victorious. Uh, but uh, before we go to the break, um, another shout out to one of our sponsors, Mavix. Uh, Mavix holiday sales happening. Uh, all Mavix gaming chairs are on sale for the holiday season. Guaranteed holiday delivery with orders placed by December 20th. That's tomorrow. So basically get your orders in today is pretty much the point. Uh, you can save 4, 5, 7, or 9% and free shipping. Uh, combine with your NSG promo code NSG55 and save an additional $55. Shop the holiday sale now. www.mavix.com Elevated. Anything else before we go on that break? No, I'm just ready for the next series. I'm excited to see how this uh, event shakes up towards the end. It is shaking up, and we're getting good. As expected, we got our second semifinal. Sonics versus On The Way is on the way after a short break. You're on Breaking CBK, joined by Elevated. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back in just a little bit.